Welcome back to the channel. It's your host Argento bringing you another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about the Gun Game TDM playlist. Now, I played this for about a week now, and I'm I'm here to say that I really enjoyed it. You know, it's an overall solid playlist. I never played it in any other Call of Duty before. So it's it's good to see that the developers are adding games that are unique to the game. And especially since they're not always recycling what worked in the past. Now, if you're somebody who loves to play Warzone and who wants to become better at it, I think this is a good playlist to add to your agenda before you go into any Warzone game. This is a great warm-up if you're just like about to play with your friends or if you're going solo. And the reason I tell you that is because in Warzone you're always picking up like a new weapon. It's Unless like you know what you're doing, it's rare to get a loadout drop or just to pick up a custom weapon that is deadly. So in the beginning and probably if you have bad luck, you'll have to pick up a like a wall weapon. Like a weapon you have no control about the attachments, you might not like it, it might just be like a common gun or a or a non-common gun. So you might not have the best opportunity to win with it. But I think this is definitely a good playlist to get good at just because you're constantly switching guns. You're never getting the feel for a gun. It's you get a kill, you switch, you try the next one. And it's not always like the selection is not always better. So you might get like an MP7 and then the next the next gun might be a 1911. Or it might be the worst gun in the game, the Bogue. That little shotgun, that gun is terrible. I hate it. You know, you think like, oh, a shotgun, it's, it should be good at close range. No, not this one. This one's bad. If it takes two, if a shotgun takes two bursts to kill somebody at like five feet, it's garbage. It needs to be bumped. Just any Call of Duty developers watching this, yeah, you need to fix the shotguns in the game. The 725 is amazing. The rest of them are subpar. But I really enjoyed this. Like just having this playlist. To me, I find it to be fun. And I find it a lot easier to get kill streaks. Just because it's a lot harder to play against guys who have a set playlist. Like no. To have a set custom loadout just because if you play the game long enough no matter if you're really good or not you'll be good with that loadout because that's what you're comfortable with so i think this is a good test to weed out like your weaknesses especially with like certain types of guns because i noticed that i would do extremely well with SMGs, assault rifles, single shot, but something that I lacked and that you probably saw in this video was that when I got a pistol or I got a shotgun that wasn't the, the 725, I did poorly. And that's something that I need to work on just because you'll always see in the gulag they'll give you a pistol they'll give you a shotgun and if you're not good with it like oh this is the gun that I was talking about the rogue not the vogue I don't know why I thought it was the vogue that'd just be a stupid name for a gun but this gun I hate but that's something that I need to work on if I wanna get better at warzone if I wanna get better at Call of Duty is to get good at with every gun be able to kill everybody with any type of gun that's something that I need to work on 
And that's something that, in life, you should always want to get better at things. You should always want to get better at your craft, no matter if you're the best or if you're in the middle. You should always be looking to get an edge up, and you should always be looking to improve. Uh, this, I'm not gonna lie, this was a good sequence, and as you see, I get a VTOL, I get a Wilson, and I just go to town with it. But this is good. So if this is a playlist that you're good at, or you like gun game, I definitely run high score streaks. Well, kill streaks, I mean. I definitely would run high scores, the uh, kill streaks, <laughs> just because it's, in my opinion, I find it a lot easier than any other playlist. I don't really like the Wilson, to be honest. I think the, I, I think the VTOL and the Wilson is very is a deadly combo, just because for a VTOL people are gonna go inside, and with the Wilson I'll be able just to go in and just eat up like I'm what I'm doing now. Hmm. But that also reminds me of another point that I wanted to bring up is that. I'm excited to see what the future is in store for, like, the new Black Ops that I saw that's coming out, Black Ops Cold War. I know it's in beta, but I don't really, I'm not going to play the beta, just because I don't, I want it, I want it to be as hype as possible. Like, Call of Duty Black Ops was one of my favorite series growing up as a kid, playing the first Black Ops 1. I still think it has, Black Ops 1 has the best campaign out of any Call of Duty. I used to play that campaign so much on every difficulty that I could, I could rehearse the script of it and tell you quotes and just, I just loved it. So, I'm not going to just spoil the hype. I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to watch any videos on it either. I'm just going to buy the game and I'm gonna play it like you can't believe if it's good like if you think I'm good in this game just wait till you see me play on black ops and I'm also excited to see how zombies works in this game because I know they're not going with the traditional four Reznov, Nikolai Dempsey and Rick Tovin. Yeah. Dempsey. Takio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not wrong. So, I'm excited to see how that works because I've always been a fan of zombies. I always, I loved playing zombies as a kid. And I hope that it doesn't disappoint me because I've been especially with the last couple of games I've been very disappointed with the with the zombies I think that the Easter eggs are way too hard I think it's just not the feel of zombies anymore so I'm excited I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on Tuesday with the next video. And most likely it'll be Minecraft because I died in the first world, so I'll have to start again. So, it's either that or COD. See you in the next video. Peace.